City Church family, praise God, I have some very encouraging updates for you, and Lord knows we need encouraging updates. First of all, I have been blown away by your generosity. I'm aware of all kinds of acts, individually and corporately, of people being extravagantly generous with their time and with their money. I hope I can tell you these stories at some point, but I just want you to know right now that people are stepping up to the plate in really spectacular ways. I'm proud of you. Last week I said I love you. I'm so proud of you for that church family. Um, I'm also uh, very encouraged to tell you that we are making some significant headway downstairs on our children's classrooms. We are actually painting right now, which means that we are very close to being able to use those spaces. I know we've been telling you that for a very long time, but this time we really mean it. I saw uh, folks painting down there uh, just this afternoon, and so just be encourage that this is going on in those rooms. They should be available by the time we actually meet again in person. I'm also very encouraged that so many of you participated in our Questioning Christianity class this past Monday night. We had like 30 folks on the Zoom call. I hope you all come back and keep participating. It's not too late to jump on to that meeting, by the way. Uh, next Monday night will be session two. We'll be talking about suffering, and so just know that that's an opportunity, but praise God for that much interest and the questioning Christianity class. I'm also very encouraged that it's been raining a lot. My lawn is looking a lot better. Thank you, Lord. Um, also encouraged that my wife is finally going to get an opportunity in the coming days, most likely to cut my hair. She's been desiring that opportunity for a very long time. She's finally going to get that chance. I'm so confident that she's going to do an absolutely outstanding job. And you will get to see what it looks like either this Sunday or the next Sunday. Looking to the future looking to the future. Uh, we're still not sure when we will be able to meet again in person, uh, but we do want to let you know that our staff and our elders are starting to think about kind of our re-entry plan, so to speak. We're putting together a roadmap for what it will look like for our church to start meeting again in person when it's possible to do that. We will continue to update you about all of that, but we want to let you know we are, we are processing all of this. We're thinking about it very carefully. Uh, various precautions that we might need to take, and that will be um, an ongoing uh, planning process in the next few weeks. Speaking of that, um, please be praying. Please be praying that our national, state, and local leaders will be united when it comes to when we should start to open things back up and how we should do that. Um, unity will be really helpful for us as a church and many others. Um, so please be praying for that. Uh, pray for wisdom. Pray for unity. If there isn't unity <laughs> among all of those bodies, things will be a little bit more complicated for us as a church. And in that event, you can be praying in particular for, for internal unity, that God would give us a lot of wisdom and grace as a church to know when we should uh, open things back up, especially if it's unclear and, and kind of hard to discern. Um, I've been so proud of the charitableness and the unity I've seen um, and our church body, keep it up, keep it up. Satan would love to use the next few weeks and months to mess with that, but by the grace of God, I think we can continue to be a very loving, charitable um, church family, even if on some of these matters we have uh, differences of opinion. I love you, church family. Once again, I'm praying for you. See you again soon.